Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is a lunch vlog that was taken last Sunday. For Sunday, we plan to make Kerala sadhya for lunch. Since Indian groceries are a bit difficult to available here, I can't make all the items. So let's see what all we prepare. Kerala rice is not available here, so we have to use Chinese rice. So that's why I said it's a Chinese sadhya. So without delay, let's see what all I prepared and move on to the video. So first thing in the morning is having two glasses of water. I had made the idli batter the previous night, so I have to prepare idli for breakfast. So I can make sambar for both breakfast and lunch. Here curd was also not easily available. So I had made it previous night for making the kitchidi and pachidi. This is the vegetables for samba. I had cut it yesterday itself and keep inside fridge. So today wash it well and starts making samba. Except okra and tomato, you can go for any vegetables you have. Okra and tomato have less cooking time, so we have to add it last. Washing half a cup of tur dal for samba. Add the tur dal into the cooker and then close in the vegetables. Add water, enough salt, then half a tablespoon of turmeric powder and two small pieces of hing. Give a mix, cover the lid and let it cook for one whistle. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare a veal and for that we have to cut the vegetables like sticks. For this, raw banana gives a special taste and it's a must for a veal. But raw banana also not available here. So instead of that, I use here is jackfruit seeds. When the pan gets heated, add 2 tablespoons of oil, then goes in the vegetables. Meanwhile, cutting the okra for samba. Here I place a plastic cover like this at the end of cutting board to collect the vegetable waste. Once finished cutting the vegetables, the cover directly goes inside the bin and it's very easy.
then one tomato for the sambar itself Don't forget the avial, keep an eye on it, giving a mix in between. Meanwhile, cutting some okra for the kichdi. Mean that the vegetables for avial half cooked, then close in half a tablespoon of turmeric powder and one tablespoon of chili powder, then give a mix. To get a nice flavor for the avial, I cover it with a banana leaf and then with a lid. Keep in a low flame until the vegetables get cooked. Soaking half a lemon sized tamarind for sambar. Now the sambar gets the first season of the flame and wait until all the pressure goes. Open the lid, give a mix and add curry leaves. Then goes in 3 to 4 tablespoon of crushed coconut and cumin seeds. Mix everything well and let it sit for 2 minutes. Then off the flame and our avial is ready. Cover it with a banana leaf until it's served and it's give a good smell and taste. Let's move on to samba. Now the vegetables were cooked well and now we can temper and add masalas. First of all goes in the soaked tamarind juice. Let it be in a very low flame. Meanwhile the other side on a pan add half a tablespoon of oil and add the okra. Give a stir fry. the tomato directly to the vegetables. After that goes in the fried okra. On the same pan add quarter tablespoon of oil and add 15 to 20 shallots. Once the shallots were fried well goes in quarter tablespoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of chilli powder then half a tablespoon of coriander powder. Goes in some curry leaves and sort them well. This is the sambar powder I made at home. You can also go for store board ones. And goes in two and half tablespoon of sambar powder. Then goes in few fenugreek powder and hing. Sort everything well until the rose smell goes.
then combine it with the vegetables and let it boil Close in a handful of chopped coriander leaves Boil for 5 minutes and sambar is ready. Now let's do tempering. On a pan add 1 tablespoon of oil and half a tablespoon of mustard seed. Once it's spluttered add 4 to 5 red chilli. Then goes in some curry leaves. Then it goes into the sambar, give a mix and cover the lid. I have prepared the idli also and now it's time for breakfast. Then I move on to make dal curry, we usually said as paripu. For that I use this dal, I don't know this dal name, we usually said as dal for paripu curry. If you know this dal name, please let me know in the comment box. So I take here half a cup of dal, wash it well and goes into the cooker. Then adding one small tomato, two or three green chilli, one small onion, and 3 to 4 garlic cloves. Adding enough salt, turmeric powder, and Ghee water. Mix. Cover the lid and let it cook for 2 to 3 whistles. Now I cook it for 3 whistles and everything cook well. After the pressure goes, I open the lid. Give a mix and goes in 2 to 3 tablespoons of coconut and cumin seed paste. Goes in half a tablespoon of boiled water. Mix well and let it boil for 5 to 10 minutes. Then goes in few coriander leaves and the curry is ready. Now let's do tempering. For tempering on a pan, add 2 tablespoons of oil. Then splattered some mustard seed, goes in some red chilli and curry leaves. Then goes in half a tablespoon of chilli powder of the flame and goes in the curry. Give a mix and cover the lid and our curry is ready. When I finish the cleaning and all and our guests start coming. I am not showing the recipes of all. Maybe the video goes lengthy and you will feel bored. Then Fadi came with her dishes. Then it's time for lunch and we start serving.
and some clicks in between and finishing the sadhya with padi special balada hope you all enjoy watching the video if then give a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe for further videos see you all with the next video till then take care bye bye